say, hey, can you tell, answer some of these questions? How many males are on the list? 26. How many females? 32. You OK with that? What do you guys think? Is that easy or is that hard? Easy? Then why do people have so much trouble? But you guys aren't going to have trouble. Why? Because you're not going to quit, and you have a lot of resources available. Is that right? OK. Let's give you more definitions here. Definition of what's known as an outcome of an event. I'm sorry, not an I'm Definition of, of an event. And that's defined to be, of, you know, we'll, we'll give you this definition. But when you guys think of event in your life, what do you guys think of? What do you think of? Parties. Why? Because you think, oh, I'm throwing an event. Maybe. What else? What else can you think of? Situation, something that's happened, yeah. There's certain events in people's lives, right? The moment you, what, turned 16, the moment you got married, the moment you had your first child, second child, third child. Any sort of experience, you're right. So when you think of event, think of it in that way, OK? Because remember, in the context of probability, you have these experiments. You have processes in which you observe outcomes. So I can define for you now event to be, and it's use the capital letter E, any subset of the sample space. Any subset of the sample space. So we already talked about subset and what that meant. We know what the sample space is. So let's look at some examples of some events in the context of an experiment. If you toss a coin, we can define an event E to be just that little h. What do you think that means? What was the event? Which is, it landed on a what? Good. This is called an event. Okay. Similarly, we can define another event. Now, even though they had this letter E, again, it's a, it's a set. You know, it's the name of a set. I can actually use any letter I want. Is that true? Okay. So I might say, well. What does this describe? Tails, why? Because all you see here is a what? Is a tails. Is that true? So what I'm doing is I'm showing you, hey, I can create from the sample space, look at the sample space right here. I can create these subsets. Those are events. Now that's one way to look at it. Another way to look at it is, and we'll look at a different example, another way you can look at this is in terms of the words being an event in the sense that, let's say the experiment is have two children. Can you describe the event now, I'll call that one, can you describe the event of having two boys? What does that event look like? So I'm giving you the words now. I'm giving you the words. Can you give me a subset of the sample space, which is a list of all possible outcomes? Can you tell me which of the outcomes correspond to having two boys? Let's go to the list. GB, do you have two boys here? No. BG, two boys? Why not? There's only one boy. One boy. Two boys here? Where? So which outcome is associated with having two boys? BB. Is that the only one? 
Okay, good. BB. Okay, so I'm giving you the words now, and you're actually trying to look at the outcomes that actually are satisfied by, the, by that word, that event. What about this event? Having one boy. Having one boy. Which outcomes are associated with having one boy? GB, is that one boy there? BG, is that one boy? GG, that's no, no boys. BB, is that one boy? Ah, you, you, it, no, right, is that one boy? That's what? Two boys. So what are they? BG and G what? GB. You guys okay with this? Now those of you that were trying to list the BB, be careful. This is a matter of language. Right? If, I, if you looked at this uh, outcome and I've asked you, is this having one boy? Some of you guys say, yeah. I say, no, it's not. If you have two boys, then you have two boys. That doesn't mean you have one boy. What you're thinking of is this. What about the event of having at least what? One boy. You see the difference? You see that difference? At least one is different than exactly one. At least one means one or, or more. So now, let's call that G, I guess. Give me the list of outcomes associated with having two children, because that's the setting, that describe having at least one boy. How many do you have here? One, one, none, two. So what are the outcomes? BG, GB, and BB. So some of you who wanted to list the BB here, you were wrong because you're thinking at least one boy. Is that actually a lot more specific? Okay. Another example, four. Two boys, one boy. How about no boys? What does no boys mean? Huh? What does no boys mean? Which outcome or outcomes are associated with having no boys? Oh, go through the list. Can you say, if this is what you have, can you say you have no boys? Can't say that. No boys? No boys? No boys? So it's really what? GG. Okay, you guys okay with this? You sure? Yes. Yes. Because remember, um, yeah, I mean, in the beginning, maybe you say, let's keep it sort of with the same letter. I can do that, but these letters are arbitrary. Because the names of things, you know, you can. So the answer is yes. They're all, the point is they're all sets in their lists. They're lists of outcomes. They're subsets of the sample space. Yes. Yes. 